Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco FI uh, the Redmi Note 12 Turbo custom ROM reviews back with new OS here I am back with this guy superior OS version let me increase or uh, decrease a little bit of brightness yeah is it now visible yeah you guys can see this is aqua battery results i will show after the video also android version is 14 superior os you guys can see it's also version 14 marble in for indian version it's 5th january 2024 is the security patch and android version is 14 you guys can see here build date is january 18 i am a little bit late here but entering into the party here kernel version 5.10.207 silver core kernel has been used in this particular ROM guys this is typical home screen what I can get and the brightness is too much here yeah now it's fine maybe yeah you guys can see this how the brightness and this is the typical home screen you guys can see here uh, you get this kind of widget here in superior OS I haven't seen this kind of widgets in any of the ROM as of now but in the widget section into the clock as you can see there are nothing here but pre-installed widget is fine in my opinion and wallpaper and style again you get this lock screen customization this is the only android 14 visual change you can see you can adjust the size here small and dynamic and even you can uh, select the color and select the intensity of it keep it default let me do one thing yeah it is done yeah now let's check as you can see this is how the lock screen you get in this particular superior OS. this is not superior OS extended version guys this is just superior OS you get this kind of shortcuts here home shortcuts left and right shortcuts you can customize from here more lock screen options again you get these kind of customizations here into the home screen into change wallpaper you won't get any pre-installed wallpapers here and it is smooth and simple guys and app grid you get up to 5 into 5 and themed icons are given let's see is it, is it working yeah into the home screen it is working but in the app drawer it's not working anyhow let's see into the home settings again again icons as you can see notification dots you can actually you need to use that superior launcher and allow the uh, permission here then only you'll get that and font size you can adjust from here maximum lines for app label you can adjust from here miscellaneous option again hidden and protected apps suggestions uh, just disable that if you want that you can enable from here again home screen customization there are plenty of options google search bar music search and again themed icons let's see yeah it's only limited to this one home screen not in the app drawer here let me disable this themed icons as of now for time being and this is typical home screen as i said and the quick settings toggle let me increase the volume here and keep it to general mode this is the volume panel what we get and this are the toggles i have enabled here sync option is there nfc it's reason specific guys and app active status you can see the animations are a little bit faster compared to android 13 and this is a typical settings panel what we get and camera again here you get a proper camera with leica integration guys and this is hyper -S kind of camera here picture quality up to super and other settings you can see here video capabilities up to 4k 60 is given here let me change the resolution to 4k yeah 60 fps option has been enabled in this particular rom dialer again uh, let me dial this out direct video call feature is available and call recording feature is there but it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call this is the dialer you get as you can see this are the options you get in the settings of the dialer here and some of the results will show before that there is even this basic call recording option it's pre-installed maybe hence you are not getting any uh, notification here and files application is also a little bit different here but it is google files only the just the icon change here you can notice and gallery again uh, these are the things i took photographs here uh, let me show this uh, geekbench score actually yeah 1479 is a single score here 4233 is the multi score geekbench version 6.2.2 android version is 14 and again it recognizes motherboard taro but it is working for uh, marble and marble in this is the android benchmark results 9 lakh 85620 and temperature raise was around 4 degrees celsius and 4 percent of battery has been dropped during this entire testing and the version of android app is 
10.2.0 use the same application then only you will get the same results and this is the internet speed test case using wi-fi and this is with 5g internet connection as you can see i'm getting good speeds here and these are the read and write and sequential read and write speeds here with graph with numericals here and this is the safety net status it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like your usb pay tm phone pay anything you can use even play store is certified here and charging rapidly 67 watt charging support is there you guys can see around 622 it was 59 percent and 638 it is 91 percent super fast charging is enabled in this particular rom no need to worry regarding that again drm information you guys can see dolby vision certified here and level one certification hence you can watch all the ott application in uh, bigger resolution and also dolby version certified here no need to worry regarding that too here and going into settings again this is actually superior was not the superior extended in superior extended i already made a dedicated video you can check out in my channel and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video like this you will get notified guys and if you like the video give it a like here you guys can see in the status bar again network traffic indicators are given here hide if network traffic enter is inactive that's a cool feature if you want you can add them status bar items again if you want to enable or disable you can do that from here 4g icon instead of lt you can enable here clock cell clock and date those are the customization into the quick settings again pull down option is there left and right you can choose brightness slider again you can position them and buttons again simple customization navigation mode into gesture navigation you won't even get any option to increase the pill length and pill radius what we've seen in the extended version and into gesture again system gestures you get swipe to three finger screenshot and one handed mode those are working fine as you can see lift to check the phone i mean double tap to open and quickly open camera those are given here which are going to work fine no need to worry regarding that even lock screen customization music ticker media cover at once you enable that you get a blur level intensity minus volume you can do that uh, weather settings again those things if you want you can add it into your customizations guys power menu advanced restart button is also available if you want you can enable and you can add some of the toggles from here and moving into themes again font style you can adjust as you can see currently i kept to uh, oppo sans here and these are the icon packs and signal icon style data icon style and wi-fi icon style and icon shape and navigation bar style if you revert back to three button navigation you can change the settings from here notifications again less boring annoying notifications options are there into the miscellaneous settings you get only unlimited photo storage by default in the uh, bgm kind of game you get 90 fps i'll be showing very soon the game plan also straight until the end of the video and gallery application as is shown before you just get this kind of information here nothing more in this particular uh, gallery application calculator looks like this and other things you can see here i'm using it as a daily drawer actually you can see my, most of the apps my geo whatsapp everything is working fine here no need to worry regarding that and the ui is really really smooth guys i really like the smoothness in the ui even in the quick settings panel or even in the switching between apps or moving to other apps and scrolling between them zooming in zooming out even with using this 3.5 mm uh, headphone jack we have that and using this uh, me dual driver headphones and jbl earphones i'm really happy i will be showing some actual settings these are actually superior extended settings guys we'll show you now actual settings here if i come back here uh, into the display again brightness level adaptive brightness extra dim is features are given here dark theme again if i enable here it will be not in pitch black condition if you enable this it will be in pitch black condition that's i really like it at least they added this feature in this particular room colors again you can choose them also you can adjust the rgb strength from here auto rotation screen is given minimum maximum refresh rate kept to 120 front you can dial down to 60 hertz one of them smooth display option is there screen saver again it will drain the battery but it is necessary to get notified tap to wake is there let me check that actually yeah it is working tap to uh, wake and sleep is given and this all the display settings actually what we get in this particular rom and wallpaper and style i already shown that apps and notifications remains very similar to any of the usb roms thermal profiles again individual apps you can select from here battery usage you can see here it's quite good here as of now i can say it's a very good battery life from i can say i really like this kind of performance and battery life everything is very much stable in this particular rom 
I definitely recommend this as a daily driver. If you are looking for that kind of from, you can go for this. And these are the audio settings. You also get a special audio support here. Media you can select here and vibration and haptics you can scan see here. There are plenty of options. You can adjust the intensity of it. And moving dial down here, Dolby Atmos support is there. If you use the earphones like this, different timing, you also get some options. Other option, dialogue enhancer, you can enhance up to max, even stereo widening also, you get up to max, bass enhancer, bass enhancer, those things are included here. Clear speaker option is also included. Nothing has been missing in this particular ROM here as of now. And accessibility menu, which is a handy feature. I am keep on telling this in every video. Nobody going to use this. This is a handy feature guys you should definitely use without actually using the physical buttons of this volume you can actually access them and even without sliding down the notification toggle you can actually access the brightness up and down and other things you can see here this is a handy feature it's been there from android 12 and it's been evolving till this android 14 hoping for next android 15 better and here you will be a little bit disappointed because face unlock feature is simply missing in this rom just you get a fingerprint unlock here but it is fast enough to unlock your smartphone using this uh, custom rom here this is a superior OS again location services google maps everything is working fine google as you can see and system again nothing more here updater is there but i recommend to flash to recover already the flashing method video in my channel and i recommend to join the separate whatsapp group for this poco fr the redmi note 12 turbo guys it will be easy for you i'll be sharing some files and links to there you can easily access them and download and flash the custom room easily guys if you're still not to unlock the bootloader there is also a video for that and in the hyper os update the bootloader unlocking video is coming soon i'm checking for that if it is available i will be making that because one of my smartphone is still on the uh i mean still it's not unlocked it's got a uh, hyper os update will be updating very soon guys so stay tuned for that also and i think i have explained everything here uh, no lag in the ui that's the good sign of this ui guys and battery life as you can see uh, you can expect around 8 to 10 hours with normal to medium usage if you are going to play bgm kind of games you will get 6 hours of uh, gameplay here continuous let's see what are the graphic settings we get and how it handle here in this superior OS. You guys can see smooth plus 90 fps is enabled here. You need not to worry regarding that. Let me check it out, guys. Everything is fine in this UI. Let's check the gameplay. If it is also good, it will be even easy to. It is smooth as of now. Even in the counter attacks, there is no lag. Okay. Again, guys, the ping is 20 ms. I'm using uh, Wi Fi here, ATL fiber with 200 Mbps plan. It also depends, guys, based upon your internet connection, the gameplay will be better. And use the controls which are easy to you. And you also should be skillful enough. And more importantly, you know how to play. Yeah. Maybe he's a hacker, speed hacker. He's moving a little bit faster, or else his internet connectivity is a little bit bad. All these things make a difference in gameplay. Definitely the game here is smooth. I haven't faced any lag or anything like that even in the counter attacks as you can see. We'll come back here. This is the BGMI gameplay and everything regarding this particular superior OS for this POCO F5 5G or the Redmi Note 12 Turbo guys. If you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM, feel free to comment down in the comment section and I recommend again to join the WhatsApp group for this particular device guys regarding conclusion i really really like this particular rom animations kind of thing or the quick settings ui fastness smoothness in the ui everything is really really smooth i even used instagram and facebook all the social media applications are running well here 
day to day tasks are also handling good here i really felt this is a very good rom even better than evolution x what i thought before it was a good rom but it is even better than that and simply you don't get any face unlock here that's the uh, bug i can say in the upcoming build in the february security patch build they can add just face unlock and keep everything same i'm still happy let's see what they can add in the upcoming build i will be making that review also but as of now if you are looking for a good consistent rom then i will recommend to use this particular rom in your poco f5 5g or the redmi note 12 pro turbo also share your experience if you are already using this particular rom guys and this is aqua battery results what i got after using this for long time the battery life is also really good and this are the recent apps what i am using and you can take the screenshot and clear all from here this is the superior voice uh, deep and depth review of this particular smartphone guys poco f5 g or the redmi note 12 turbo uh, we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now